Hey Soccer Fat Foodies, it's Jose here, and today you're joining me in my kitchen to make one of my favorite cookies. It is the French Macaron. This light, airy, delectable cookie has an almond flour base and uses egg whites. They are so versatile. There's so many different flavors and colors, and you can do so many different things with them. It's super simple to make. Now let me stop myself right here. The macaron is not an easy cookie to make. It's actually one of the most difficult cookies to master, but I digress. So if you want to see how I make this recipe, stick around. So the type of macaron I'm going to be making today is a dolce de leche macaron. So the recipe for this shell actually comes from Sugar Bean. I've left a link to her channel down below. And the recipe for the Dolce de Leche filling actually comes from Cupcake Savvy's Kitchen. I've also put a link to that channel below. Now let's get into it. First, we're gonna add our almond flour, then our powdered sugar, and we're gonna combine that with the whisk. Next, I'm gonna separate the egg whites from the egg yolks of two eggs. Now, this is pretty simple, right? You just are not supposed to get any of the egg yolk in the egg whites or else the egg whites will not whip up. So be very careful. I kind of feel like this is a foreshadowing of how my cookies are gonna turn out. Well, let's try that again. And this time, success. Next, we're gonna add our white sugar to the egg whites and we are gonna beat that until we get stiff peaks. And I'll show you guys in a minute what a stiff peak is. Now I have to say, sugar bean makes this look so easy, but it really isn't. I mean, there's not a lot of ingredients, but it's all about technique. She is a pro baker, so I will forgive myself if these do not turn out how I want. I was so sad to hear that one of my favorite bakeries in Yorkville, Toronto, Morocco Chocolat, actually closed down and I used to go there and buy macarons and have brunch. So now I'm searching for a new spot to buy my macarons because I haven't had them in so long. So that's one of the reasons why I'm making this recipe. So once the egg whites have thickened up a bit, I've decided to add a pink food coloring and it's a gel food coloring and continue beating the egg whites until you get this, the stiff peak. Notice how those peaks aren't falling over? And if I turn this bowl over, it should stick to the bowl and not fall out. Add your almond flour to a strainer because we're going to get all those lumps out as we add it to the egg whites. And honestly, it was taking so long that I just dumped it in there. Okay, now we're gonna mix it with the mixer. And I always heard that you're not supposed to be too rough with this batter, but Sugar Bean used her mixer, so I'm gonna do the same. So this is the consistency of the batter, and I'm not quite sure if this is how it's supposed to look. I'm not too sure if I mixed it too much or not enough. So yeah, uh, chalk that up to inexperience. Either way, we're just gonna go with it, and this is what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna put the batter in a piping bag, and this is the piping tip that I'm working with. It's just a simple round tip. Now that the piping bag is ready, we are going to pipe out these macarons. I made my own template on a piece of parchment paper and this will be my guide for the macarons. I'm just placing another piece of parchment paper on top of my template and I'm going to start piping the batter. I haven't piped in a while so I'm a bit rusty but I'm really just trying to keep the tip in the center of the circle as I pipe. I tried tapping the cookies so that the batter would spread. And aren't they so cute? I love that hot pink color. Set your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and leave the door open while you bake them for two to three minutes. Then set it to 285 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for 15 minutes. Okay, so here are the finished macarons. And as you can see, the tops 
are kind of wrinkled. They do have the feet on them and that's that part here that they should have, um, but it's not how it should look. But, I mean, for my first time, I'm not mad. I'll definitely try this again. So I'm gonna try to cover up my wrinkled macarons with some gold luster dust. I'm just adding the powder to a small container and I'm gonna add a little bit of clear alcohol to that, not too much. So as you can see here, I'm applying the mixture onto the cookie, but it's not as opaque as I thought it would be. Um, but what can you do? Work with what you've got, right? I'm just gonna add some sea salt to that. And I want to try using the dry luster dust on its own just to see how it'll look. And it's not bad. For the filling, I am using pre-made Dolce de Leche and butter. It's so easy to make. You really can't go wrong with it. And it's only two ingredients. And to be honest with you, I did not measure anything. I just put a bit of butter and I tried to put equal parts of the Dolce de Leche and mix it. Now it will look curdled halfway through, but you just have to keep going and it will fluff up. I added some sea salt to this as well. I added this fun tip to a piping bag and I'm so excited to fill these macarons. We are ready to pipe, finally. Now, like I said, I'm rusty with the piping, but my whole plan is to create a bit of a well and a wall around it because I want to put some of the Dolce de Leche in the center. And I just want to apologize to all my Spanish speaking viewers. I don't know how to speak Spanish and I'm pretty sure I've been saying Dolce de Leche incorrectly throughout this whole video. I'm not sure what started happening as I was piping the filling. I struggled to get it out of the piping bag. So eventually I just took the tip off. So I filled some of the centers and then I put the tops on and look at how cute. Oh my goodness. Et voila, c'est fini. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my grade four or five class. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining me on Sucka Fed Food. Hope to see you again next time.